This is another of my uh, designs to make simple uh, windmills. Um, I've called it a wind wheel. Um, we need a, a circle of paper, or I prefer to use thin card. Um, pupils can draw their own, uh, or I can supply them with um, some pre-printed circles to cut out. Um, first of all, we have to make the hole in the middle. Unfortunately, the hole punch can't quite reach the hole, so we have to use a sharp pencil. Carefully push out the hole. Don't push the whole pencil through. That's about a big enough hole. And to make it a bit more interesting, um, I get the children to colour in their colour wheels. We can actually do a little science experiment to find out what happens when colours mix together. And then we cut down each of the veins like this. And then when we finished colouring in and cutting out our wind wheel, we then have to bend bend up the blades. So holding the middle of the wheel get hold of each blade and give it a gentle twist like this and then work your way around bending each blade in the same direction. Just a small twist is all it needs. Like that. Next we're going to uh, fix an axle to the wing wheel and we're going to use um, a plastic bendy straw. Um, these are a about six millimeters diameter um, if you can't find any they're available from my supply service. We're not going to use the bendy part we're just going to use the, the straight section and we're going to fit it with um, a collar. Uh, this is made from PVC tubing which you can get in pet shops uh, from supply services or, for, or from my supply service and I cut off a small piece and then to make it easy to fit onto the tubing, get the scissors and just slice down one side. And now it can be slid onto the tubing. I've made these with uh, year two. So slide the collar on. Then gently slide your colour wheel onto the bendy straw. I think that hole may... No, that's okay. That's gone on. That's fine. And then, to securely fix it on the end, put another collar on, like that. Now, to make it spin really well, we're going to run the uh, bendy straw in a piece of jumbo straw. So if I slide that down, and you can see uh, already that it's, it's beginning to turn, if I give it a bit of help. That's working really, really nicely. Um, to make a handle for our uh, wind wheel, we're going to use um, a second bendy straw. I'm going to cut the jumbo straw in half and stick it on top of the bendy straw with some sticky tape. Cut the jumbo straw back a bit just to leave a, a little bit sticking out at both ends. Like that. Then we can put our wind wheel back in there. You can see it's working really nicely already. Um, that can be shortened a bit. We don't need that much sticking out at the back. And to fix it in place so it doesn't drop out, put a third collar onto the end of the bendy straw. And that's our finished um, colour wheel. Uh, you can make a stand for it. I've used, made a stand out of a wooden wheel and a piece of 5mm dowel. It's an optional thing to do. Um, you could do some, quite some nice activities with these. If, for instance, you could try colouring in perhaps um, half of the veins in one colour and half of the veins in another colour and then see what happens when the, when the colours mix. So that's my design for windmills. Um, I've also come up with some more designed using a computer program called Coral Draw. 
and uh, it, it's assembled in exactly the same way. So I hope you enjoy making windmills.